I have less than 500 hours in DayZ, so I came up with this challenge for myself. I call it the Official Vanilla Experience Challenge. <laughs> I know, catchy name, right? What this challenge will test me on is my base game knowledge given the little amount of hours I've put into it. I can't use any third-party apps like the I Survive map or Discord or look up any crafting guides. Everything I know must rely on figuring it out for myself or God forbid asking a stranger in game. I wanted to record my experience and share it with you guys because I thought it might be interesting or even, dare I say, entertaining to document, but also because it's something fun for me and it something different. You always see these videos with 10,000 hour pro plays game, but what's the scrub experience like? How long can a novice last in the wasteland of Trenaris? My goals to complete during this challenge is to be totally self-reliant, meaning I want my character to die of old age before getting murdered or turned into a Zed. So I must make a safe shelter, be it tents and walls or a house and gates, a food source from a garden or pond, and medicine. I must have a supply of medicines. Optional, I guess, would be a car and water source, but we'll see if we can even make it this far. <laughs> so I hope you'll join me on this journey. I'm not sure how long it will last, but this is the true Daisy Vanilla Experience challenge. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'd love to make more of these videos, and honestly, I probably will anyway. So yeah, let's get into it. Our adventure starts like any other on the coast of Chinaris in the town of Kami Wobo. So I, I do know the starter towns pretty well, but what I don't know is like once we start getting in further inland, the game starts to become a little fuzzy for me. I do have like a bit of experience in the game, right? <laughs> like I know how to play, I know what to expect. Um, you know, I got a couple tens of hours on console which con console let's let's be fair console's not terrible it's just I, I play on like the old xbox like the xbox one right so throughout all the updates and it being like a 15 year old console it uh <laughs> it lags oh dude a potato we could definitely use that for a farm oh what's this oh a mouth guard Ooh, okay, okay. It's probably going to muffle my speech, but I don't think that I really plan on talking to anybody anyway, honestly. I mean, if we meet them, like, right here on the, uh... If we meet them, like, right here, then I guess we won't have a choice. I stopped playing for the day and picked up on day two, or, uh... Or we fucking died <laughs> really early. Which is probably the bigger possibility. Oh, dude, he has a backpack. What is it? Shifting forward is a heavy hit. Oh, man. And it's in good condition. Get out of here. And a dried tomato. Where? Okay. <laughs> this is a good start. This is a good, great start. My dog just scared the crap out of me. Uh, we'll put these on. At least they're black, right? At least they're a darker color. And a gun with ammo? I swear to God. And a battery. I swear to God, we're on a vanilla server. <laughs> I swear to God we are. So already, the day was starting great. We found some food items, a water bottle, a backpack, and a gun that had ammo. So I decided to check a few more houses and then head to the police station to fill up my water bottle and to search it. I thought there was a way to zoom. Okay, it's control. Wait, why is control making me lay down? Oh no, do I have to adjust my buttons? Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna have to adjust our buttons. <sighs> Dude, and we got a map. Oh, that's... Oh, shit.
And just like that, as we approach the police station, we find a map and shots begin to ring out behind us headed in our direction. So I grabbed the map and fled into the woods. It is so important that we keep this map protected because as I just said, we are not using any third party apps. This is my only way to navigate. And on top of that, my controls are all screwed up. So I have to adjust those in the middle of a potential firefight. Dude, our controls are so out of whack right now. It's gonna be a miracle if I can win this fight. We need we need to get that water though. Hopefully this dude chases us up into the woods. He couldn't have had ammo for it. If he if he had ammo, he would definitely chase us. As chances are, he don't think that we have ammo for this. At least that's what I'm gonna tell myself to make myself feel better, right? So after hanging around the area and messing with my controls, I had no signs of him still remaining in the area, so I decided to attempt to approach the police station again and try to get the water that I need. Alright, I really don't want to push in. What the fuck? Oh my god. That was big, and that was close. What on earth? This is wild, dude. We had such a- we have such a good start. I can't tell what direction that's coming from. I think we might be running toward them. I don't know. I couldn't tell- like, it was close, but I couldn't tell if it was go coming in front of us or behind us because it was just, because it's just so dang loud. I was hoping, oh, I was hoping to hang out there for a minute so we could fish and get, like, good food, proper food. Alright, but we, we do, uh, we do have a map. We do have a map, so we're going to look at that. Uh, we're gonna check out these mushrooms. That's rotten. That's unfortunate. That's rotten. That's unfortunate. You can probably tell because of the mold. Alright. Alright, so we're in... Camwobo. We are... This is the police station here. We're just up here somewhere. So if we run north, we'll hit poor. That's a castle. Or we got... Ty up to in that direction. Ty's a good location. I like that town. And I know where the well is there. Over here, however, I don't know if there's a well or where there's a well. So we got to run toward the shooters. I think that would be the best plan. Um, Because I know where the well is there. And they, and I know that there's fruit trees, so we can, um, scavenge, uh, some apples. So that's what we did. We picked a direction, assuming that it was northeast, and began to run in the direction of Tai. At least that's the town I'm gonna call it, because I can't read Russian, obviously. We went to scavenge for mushrooms and any points of interest that we could find in the forest, but other than just a single mushroom, we could not find any more food, and things were looking pretty dire. Alright, we're getting further from them gunshots. My own footsteps freak me out a lot. I don't think anybody's coming up that road. Oh no. The hunger. And we don't have no way to cut up our potato. Yeah, <laughs> I tried. Oh, we need to find a knife. 
Who doesn't eat the skin of a potato? Why would you not want to eat a skin the skin of a potato? And look at that. That's the town we want to be in. We're going to loot this town. There's apple trees uh, either in that yard or that yard. Like, there's apple trees all around there. And um, try to find a knife, get this water bottle filled. Who knows? We might just starve to death. <laughs> you know? Now, not to brag, but I've been playing a lot of Hell Light Loose lately. <laughs> I might know a thing or two about this, uh, this bolt action. Now, this is a pretty popular town for, uh, fresh spawns. Because it's so close to the spawn city. There could most definitely be somebody running around. Man, I know I ne said I need to quit sprinting, and the first thing I start doing is sprinting everywhere. Alright, well, we found a flashlight. Might come in handy, or it might just make us a uh, death beacon. Man. That sucks the mushrooms we found were rotten. Is anybody eating rotten mushrooms? How bad is it? Oh, there's a dead survivor. That's a good sign. Yeah, why can't I, uh, I can skin and quarter him, but why can't I loot him? Uh, why can't I loot him? All right, hold on. I don't have gloves. Well, that, I mean, I guess I don't really need gloves either, though. Because there's a well not far from here. I wonder how he died. I wonder if he starved too. He probably has all the apples on him, huh? I'm starting to, uh... Yeah, I'm starting to panic now. Oh, good, another battery. I don't need it. I don't even know why I picked it up. These aren't even fruit trees. This one might be. Hell yeah, dude. We found a plum. Those deer are moving away. If I can chop up that body, I should be able to chop up a deer, right? If that deer makes another noise, we're going after it. My character's making too much noise. I think it's this way. Needless to say, I started panicking and becoming desperate. The town I thought would save us turned into a lot of nothing. There was no fruit on the ground except for that single plum. There was no food in any of the houses. I found a dead body, so that's always promising. And then out of just sheer desperate and panic, I decided to chase a noise in the woods that I couldn't follow, knowing that it would be a deer. After I couldn't locate it though, I decided to head back into town and locate the well and try to come up with a game plan from there. Yeah, it's getting louder.
He probably just shot our food supply. All right, zombies are starting to spawn in. Oh my god, we just we just won. <laughs> I've never been so happy for cat food. We do got to go hunt though. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. Oh, we ate too much. <laughs> Damn. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. We ate too much. I, I wasn't paying attention. I was, oh, I was so excited. Now here we are back to square one. A rookie mistake out of just desperation, trying to stay alive. So excited and fixated on food bit us in the ass because I failed to watch my nutrients intake. Oh, that was such a fucking rookie mistake. Oh my god, dude. That is such a shame. I don't hear them deer either, so I'm pretty sure our, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that dude fucking got the got the deer we were gonna hunt. How could I forget that was a thing? I gotta I gotta leave it in. <laughs> as embarrassing as it is, I gotta leave it in. Oh my goodness. I mean I can believe it, but how can I forget that was a thing? I seen the icon and I was just like, oh, a few more bites, that won't hurt. Don't take the few more bites. Oh my goodness. I think we can sneak out of here now. There's a couple more houses we can search. Out of, uh... Just out of being desperate. Oh my god, dude. Oh, stop, man. Oh, my good. Oh, my goodness. Not like this. Not like this. There was a third door. Because of course there was a third door. <laughs> now we're flashing again. We're gonna die starving because of me. I ain't got no one to blame but myself. What do you got? Food? No, you ain't got food. Ah, oh, I got a nice jacket. I hear the deer. We're not gonna make it though. I hear the deer. We're just not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Is our last band-aid. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> this is it. This is how we died. Unless there is a deer over this hill. 
We died in the most noob way possible. We need a miracle, and I threw it up. I threw up our miracle. This was the low part of the server. Things were looking grim. We threw up our only food source, but the last chance we had was to locate this deer and follow it into the woods, so that's what I did. Uh, upon following the noise and trying to locate it, it led us back to the coach between a couple buildings that are located in between Kami Wobo and Salenci. We couldn't locate the food source. This looked like the end. However, we did find a knife in a nearby barn. But like, I'm... I know it. I think this might be Kami Shobo. No, it's not Kami Wobo. It's... There, I think it's like another kind of Kami. I don't know. I don't care where I'm at. There ain't no food. Maybe there's a bag of chips. Yeah, that guy's still shooting noobs over in Kami. I mean, I, I, I say he's shooting noobs when we're the ones starving. Uh, I want to sprint so bad because I just want to quickly find food. And, like, this is a popular spawn. So, unless somebody tries to kill us for our apple, unless we kill somebody for their apple, we're, we're not getting food. That door never shut. Hops, fence, and dies. Just exerts way too much energy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't... Uh, we have a knife, so we're like one step closer to a fishing rod. Oh my goodness, there's a dead body. There's a dead body. This is... This is what we gotta do. Now, I don't know if it was the hunger, the panic, the desperation, or whatever... I was just too focused on trying to make a rope or find a rope that my brain was all over the place. I couldn't quite concentrate, so I'm here cutting up this body trying to find rope when I have rags all around me. It's hunger does crazy things to your mind. Ah. Uh. Oh no, I think I need two sets. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I don't. All right, put these down. Wait, where's this? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, is it cuz- is it cuz that's in it? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. Alright. Okay. Oh, uh, is this not enough? Oh, man. That's not enough. So my inexperience shines through again. I quickly realize I don't have enough rags. I wasn't aware that I needed 12. The only reason I know that there is because this is post-edit or post-gameplay. And my ex inexperience is shining through in this moment. And it takes me a little bit to figure this out. As well, I am so focused and panicked on making rope, I even sacrifice my own shirt. What?
I thought I can make rope. I thought I can make rope with rags. I need rope and then I can go fishing. Oh my god. <laughs> it just... See, it popped up for a second. It popped up for a second. There we go. There's just this like little texture of water that you have to click. All right, now we're wet and cold. Perfect combo. All right, well, we can't... Coke won't make us throw up, right? Oh, we have a knife. I can eat the potato. Why wasn't I thinking about that? I have a knife. We can eat the potato. Dude, this, this hunting knife does absolutely fuck all. Oh, it's because the potato is ruined. Why can't I? Why, why, why can't I make? I can make hand wrappings, head wrappings, feet, face, torso, legs, eye. I can make an armband. You know what I can't do? Is make a rope. I mean, we'll try to craft rags and make a rope out of this. I don't think it's going to work, though. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, if you're cool, I'm cool, all right? You scared me. If you, hey, if you're cool, I'm cool. I held the corner, food flashing red, starvation, desperation, and finally, with one more echoing bellow of my third shot, salvation. I was saved. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, I'm shaking. Oh. Oh my goodness, I'm shaking. You know what, we're gonna hang on to these in case we need to make hooks. Oh, I'm actually shaking. Oh my god. Like, I'm- I don't handle PvP well. Okay? <laughs> oh, he has so much food on him. I don't handle PvP at all. Like, too much adrenaline. <laughs> This just got turned around in such a huge way. All right. We got to we got to stay we we got to stay on the uh we got to stay on the beach. Servers resetting in 30 minutes. We got to stay on this beach. Finally, things were looking up and up. Fi I finally found food. I finally got a kill in this game. And most importantly, we have our rope and we can go fishing and it's crazy how something can just be changed over the course of a few moments. Everything is looking up once again. Dude, he had so much food on him. How much ammo do we got left? What's the F mean? Was O. Oh. It must be either jammed or... Uh, I just didn't have the round chambered. I don't know what that F meant. I couldn't think of a safer place to be, honestly, than on the corner of that island fishing. It might be too obvious, but... Obvious might need to be the, uh... I don't know, man. I just don't want to do it directly on the beach next to spawn cities. All right, we got our, our food is still going up. We're in such a good way right now. Oh my goodness. We'll get a couple pieces, some for kindling.
Oh, I hope it don't use all the bark. Okay, it didn't. I'm actually shaking. Oh my goodness. That's so pathetic. <laughs> I'm actually shaking. Alright, where's this hand drill kit? Here it is. Um, Alright, we got a fireplace that just needs a little bit more wood. Who, I, I don't really know. And I really don't want to quit playing it. But... I think I think we got a good part one. If we survive, I mean there's still the chance, right? Like somebody could run up and do some crazy shit. But where's the rope? I left the rope in the house. Oh, I left the rope in that house. Oh no. Why didn't it go in my inventory? There's still so much I have to do. I still have to make hooks and dig up bait. Now I gotta run back to this fucking house and come back. We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, uh, it's missing. What? Or did I make it upstairs? I think I made it upstairs. Somebody was here and took the rope. Bamboozled once more, I have no choice but to loot the nearby houses and try to get 12 more rags to make a rope. I did manage to pick up an extra knife. Both are badly damaged. And through it all, server reset is happening in about 20 minutes. So now I'm also on the clock. I'll consider that a win. This is it right here. Alright, we'll keep some on us as well. Okay, craft root. All right, we're finally we're we're finally back. We uh we got our rope that I definitely didn't let get stolen, but because we had to travel all the way back and then some server resets happening very very soon. Oh, we don't have enough space. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to log here. Day two picks up where day one left off. We place our fire, start to fish, and get some mackerel for the big journey inland. Our goals for today are to find some more clothing, um, do an equipment check, and try to find some building supplies and, of course, more food. We got our rope, so that's pretty huge. Oh, uh, we don't, you know what we don't have is a way to cook the fish once we, uh, Oh man, we don't have a way to cook the fish. Okay, so... There should be nothing to... I, I need to dig for worms. We need to be in the grass to dig for worms. We don't need many at all. Alright. We'll, we'll take like three. And then we'll need to use one knife to make the hooks. Um, we'll take the branches off with our hands. That will probably cause some bleeding, but that's all right. We'll we'll just start up with uh we'll we'll start off with uh three worms. See how many fish that can get us. See how many we can butcher. Cause like, you know, I don't want to be here longer than uh than I have to.
All right, well, our hunting knife's ruined. That's, that's not good. Fuck, dude. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be able to gut our fish. We, we might have to, we might have to abandon this. Wait. Oh, I can use the crowbar to make a hook. No way. That's huge. That is huge. That actually probably just saved us. All right, learning something new every day. Um. Oh, come on. All right, we got something, right? Right? We got something? Hell yeah, we got a mackerel. It takes up a lot of our inventory. <laughs> That's insane. Um, all right, we'll transfer that out. We gotta, we gotta clean and cook this thing, like, immediately. I'm really nervous about building a fire here. It's real easy to see the smoke, and at night, it's the light that gets you. So, you're kind of, like, damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? Um, I'm wondering if we, if we can cook one more up. No, that actually ruined our steak knife. No way. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. This isn't good. <laughs> this is not good. I mean, it's good that we got food. We didn't get as much food as I was hoping. But given the circumstances, I'm grateful for any food. We're going to try to roll our way into... Uh, we need to go back up the Thai, actually. Search that area again. Get our water bottle filled. And then just move inland, I guess. We're going to eat all of our food right now. Ty is just up in those hills over there. That's, like, the only game plan I have right now until I can get enough time to, like, think and actually make a game plan. After getting our fill of our two fish fillets, we begin to head back up into the woods to check the map and try to find our way back up to Ty. However, I came up with a different idea and found a city a little closer. I'm, I'm paying attention to my hunger now too, okay? <laughs> I'm paying attention to it. I'm paying very close attention to it. Dude, these mackerels are insane. We need to check the condition of our weapons and stuff. Like, we need to do a proper inventory check. But I want to wait until we actually get up into the woods to, to do that. So we're warm. We are we are wet. We were sitting in the water while we were cooking. This is probably something I should pay attention to, but I'm not too, too concerned about. Silenci's just over there. Alright, Ty's just somewhere up in these hills over there. So that's what we're going to do. We could follow the road up. Actually, we can figure out where... We got a map. We can figure out where this road leads to. Maybe we'll have a better game plan. Um, Okay, there's no hot... There's no hot bar. Hot, hot key. <laughs> let's, let's pull this fucker out. We'll take a gander. So we are right here. We're along this road. This will lead up to MC... TA and it looks like it has uh that looks like a restaurant symbol. And I'm sure that there's a well there. I'm not sure where the well would be located, which is kind of why I wanted to go back to Ty cuz I know where that well is. We could follow the road straight to Ty, but that could be dangerous too. That could be a risk. If we can get up here to uh Ropo or Po, that that would be that would be a good plan. But really, I'm not I'm not looking for any high tier loot. I'm just looking to uh, survive. You know, I'm I'm looking to find somewhere to be self sufficient. So we got to keep that in mind too. So yeah, we can follow this road all the way up to uh, the larger city, or just follow it. Like I said, we're somewhere along this road up in the hills, so we can just follow this until we run into the next town. It might be closer. Here, it might be about the same distance. All right, how do I get out of here? I guess I really got to think about that, huh? We got a half a bottle of water, so we're not we're not stressed. We're not stressed like we were. We'll put in one of the batteries to the flashlight, so that's ready when we need it. We don't need our heat pack right now. Probably don't need it at all. 
yeah, we'll uh, we'll just we'll get on the other side of the road and then we'll follow it up, or or we'll just stay on this side. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure out the safest way to travel, but I don't think that this game. Uh, I don't think anything about this game constitutes safe. And so that was it. That was our game plan. We were going to go further inland and go to that northern it, town and right, look for supplies. Guys. Nothing oh, specific, yeah. really. Just some more food, all maybe right, some building just gotta... materials, and scout out a base. Alright, so we got a hoodie. We got a little candy bar. We got water. Um, everything seems to be going pretty well. Our food's starting to go back down, so yeah, we gotta just keep looting towns, looting houses, and uh, just see what we can come up with. Um, we do need building supplies. I'm gonna try to start out with a crate, and uh, yeah, we need nails. Like, that would be our first, like, biggest objective is to get nails. I need to figure out what kind of ammo this gun takes. I think it's seven, I think it's seven, six, two by 39. Not a hundred percent sure though. There's another, we need to take a zombie out. We could end up ignoring him, but he might have some food. Like I said, we're in a pretty good, we're in a pretty good spot for right now. Come on, old man. I could... I need to start fist fighting them. That's what all the pros do, right? Oh, dude, there's a knife. Oh, and it's pristine. But then we got to build a fire. I think this would be a pretty good base right here. I mean, we only got to put, like, a wall. I already got some defense around it patch up the holes in this wall I don't know one side's pretty left open but I I wish you could mark on the map I don't think I don't know if they have pens in the game or not I wish you could mark on the map because I'm not totally sure where we're at ah fuck I ran right to him god damn you god damn you Fucking, he fucked me up. I think our vest is ruined. Our hoodie is. Alright, we have a sewing kit. Let's get back into this house. Or would it, it, it'll probably be safer in the woods. I want to try to remember where this house is. I actually like this location. It's not too far from anything. It, it would be pretty easily discovered. But I, I don't expect my stuff to last anyway. <laughs> not not in the long term. No. Um Let's let's do our backpack first. That's our most important thing. After patching up our clothes and deciding that this is a potential base location, we decided to follow the road up north where we saw a town in the distance and decided to stop and check our map. And the server got pretty busy. Um, there's a town way over there. Where the fuck are we? There's a town way over there. I don't know if our map will tell us or not. I don't know if we can figure it out using the map or not. We're gonna have to, though. Alright, so we ran up through... We didn't stick to the main road. We're on a dirt path that might be that house there's the blue trail this is all the blue trail so you know what this was probably the house i was looking at i'm thinking this was the house so we were just following that it was either this house or that house so that might be mcta but we left the blue trail and we see another road so it could be this little town above Salinci. we're we're at one of these two towns or it could be this one Fuck. We're, we're somewhere in this general area. That town's pretty far away, though. I think... I 
think MCTA is still up this way. We okay, yeah, we ate. Now there there is a pond nearby, so we can always get more. Uh, we can always fish more, try to get more carp. That's more promising than trying to waste bullets on a deer. And a bit more stealthy. But I remember I was fishing in a pond on console, and like there just happened to be a player around, and he sniped us. Me and my buddy just sniped us. Or this is the town we're looking for. Oh, there's a player up there. Fuck. A player just ran in that barn. We're gonna stick in the woods. We're gonna keep an eye on that barn in that field. We're gonna sneak into- we're gonna stick to the woods. There's- I mean, there might be something in there we need. There might be a compass, but we got contact right now. It's gonna be really hard to do without a scope. Also, what, what kind of ammo does this take? Yeah, I was right. 76239. Alright. We're gonna try to take a wide flank and just keep an eye on him. The reason I'm going to go up here and take this flank is I'm going to hope, because we came from the coast, right? Chances are he don't want to head back to the coast. He'll want to run toward us. After spotting the potential threat, I decided to take a wide flank to the north end of the village. My mindset was he wouldn't run back to the coast, so we want him to run to us. So we want to be on the other end of the town. Now, as always, I could try talking to him, approach with caution, this and that, but we don't have any close quarter weapons. And it's a big enough threat that I'm not comfortable with PvP as it is. So the best approach for me is to keep my distance, watch him for a bit, and just see what equipment he might have on. I could, I could wait for him to run into the building, sneak up, tell him to drop his shit. I, I suffer from a uh, I, I suffer from a brain disease called being a good person. So if I don't talk to him, that makes me feel a little better. It dehumanizes him, right? <laughs> no mic, no life. That seems to be about the consensus of it. No mic, no life. We're gonna come right up here to this shed. We're gonna search it real quick. What the fuck? Oh, nice zombie killer. Somebody- Oh, dude, he, he dumped his shit here. Somebody did. I'll take an extra steak knife, hell yeah. 9x19. Nine That's a pretty good round, I think. We'll take those. Oh, dude, he got, he got ammo for our fucking rifle, hell yeah. So yeah, he might be coming back up here. I gotta get this clip loaded up and ready to go. Fuck. Now the adrenaline's starting to kick in. I'm starting to sweat. I'm starting to tense up. Probably breathing heavy like a fatty. <laughs> Alright, this pine tree might be a good spot. I don't want to engage in confrontation if I don't have to. There's the well. We'll see if he stops at the well. We'll keep an eye on that. He's in one of these houses. We got eyes on the field, the well, and these little bit of houses. So he ran into the barn. We know he's on that end of town somewhere. So he might be pushing up through the field or going through each house individually. So it's just a matter of sitting and waiting until we feel it's safe. 
We're gonna back up just a little bit, and I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna give myself a heat pack. That way we can warm up and we're not shaking and shivering and making noise. GG's. <laughs> Man, what a skill issue, right? I, I was tense to begin with, and when I seen him, I shot way too early. He had no idea I was there. I'm coming back for him. Um, I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I, I just, I felt a need, a craving to make my own Daisy Adventure video. Clearly I'm nothing good or nothing extraordinary, but I have a lot of fun playing Daisy. I have a lot of fun making this type of content and hopefully you have fun watching it. Hopefully you want to see more. I plan on uh, making more. I want to try this challenge again, maybe over on Livonia, see if there's anything different with that. Um, however, I, I, I do notice that the, or I have noticed since I've had the DLC, that the server populations are a little lower, so I don't know. I guess, I, I guess that one's still up in the air. I do have plans on checking out new modded maps. It seems like there's a new one coming out every other week, and um, maybe get some friends involved. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I just... I had a lot of fun with this video. I had a lot of fun playing the game and it's just it's a it's a nice change of pace. So hopefully you guys had fun watching it. And I guess until next time, thank you for watching.